Welcome to my channel, Fishing with Rick. On this episode, I will talk about resort fishing on a budget. If you're like me, you spend the majority of your money on the vacation itself, leaving very little left for excursions. So chartering a fishing trip is usually out of the question as well. I'm going to show you a couple of things to be aware of, some tips, and then I'll finish off showing you some of the gear that I take. All right then, off we go to Jamaica. People are going to ask me which actual resort I uh, stayed at and I stayed in uh, Reuna Grill in Jamaica. Very nice resort. Okay. Mornings on a resort for fishing every morning. As I come in. I get my coffee. My favorite time to fish on resorts is first thing in the morning. That way you don't have a lot of tourists to deal with. You get some walkers or joggers. But otherwise it's it's pretty uh, pretty quiet here. You do have to worry about is it's harder to see the, the stingrays when you walk on the, the beach. I, I think I just hooked into a little barracuda. Oh what the hell is that? That's not <gasps> look at the size of that fish. Oh my goodness. That's funny. That's funny. Old little croaker. There you go, little fella. Huh. Oh, it's a barracuda. Oh, there's another one. Another one following him. Oh, he's a pretty good one. So I'm walking along here fishing and I don't know if you can see that right there but you don't want to be stepping on stuff like that. See how it's buried right in the sand? That's about a two and a half foot stingray right, right there. Well, you got to be careful of those things. Down here, we'll just uh, give him some birth. They won't bug you unless you're stepping on them. So, but you see, the, see how he's buried in the sand? When you're walking along the shoreline, if you fall into a, a hole, that's probably what it was. He was in there and he buried himself like that. They make quite a hole in the, in the sand. You see that guy right there? He's about a five foot shark. Um, I think it's a nurse shark. So. So the problem with fishing on resorts is you got to put up with a whole bunch of stuff, you know, like sunsets like that, the heat, the sand, you know, there's always activity, tourists, weddings and stuff like that that get in your way. Uh, there's always a lot of activity, so you have to maneuver and adjust all the time. So when I go to a resort, this is the gear I, I usually take. I usually take uh, two sets of uh, travel rods, okay, with reels, okay, and my primary uh, rod, uh, rod of choice is the Okuma. It's a very, very nice rod. Uh, I, uh, this one's a medium light. I, if I had my time back, I would have went with a medium. And a Shimano reel, that's a Stratic uh, 3000 would pair nice with the the medium medium light uh, and then this is for my backup rod this is a uh, ugly stick gx2 it's also this one's a medium and i keep the pen on that one and uh, that's a battle two i think pen battle two yep battle two okay nice little reel it's a good backup reel for sure i actually use that a lot um and for tackle so i take a few different types of spoons spoons uh, a few jigs different types uh, and for and uh repellas floating repellas because the you're you're usually shore fishing and the uh, uh the water's very shallow 
So you want floating or uh, shallow diving lures and leaders, steel leaders, because you're going to catch a lot of toothy critters down there. If you're doing a lot of bottom fishing, uh, if you want to do some bottom fishing, you can go to the, uh, the main cafeteria and get some shrimp, some uncooked shrimp, and throw that on, and you'll catch lots that way too. I'm more into the lure fishing, but uh, if you want to catch more, live bait or, or bait usually works better. A multi-tool is a must-have. Don't forget your multi-tool. Uh, you catch uh, barracudas down there, you'll be happy you had that. And of course, clothing. Well, got to have your cargo pants with big pockets, big enough to have your tackle box in. So you don't want to be fumbling around, you know, you just throw it in your pocket. And of course, pocket's big enough for your coffee. So that doesn't spill, you can just throw it right in there. Uh, that's, that's my setup. Thanks for watching. If you uh, liked what you see, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. We'll catch you on the flip side from Rick. See you for now.